I'm here with my co-host today, Stu Miniman. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's continuous production. We're here two days live at IBM Edge at the Mandalay Bay. This is the second year of Edge. Uh, more than doubled from last year. We were in Orlando and we've got about 5,000 people here this year. A lot of good buzz, a lot of good technical talk, a lot of good business talk. Good flavor between hardware and software, systems and storage and software. and. Um, really showcasing sort of IBM's new vision, vision for the future, what they see as this new type of IT, the storage as a platform. And Alex Yost is here. He's the vice president of business line executive uh, within IBM's uh, server business. Uh, Alex, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much for having me here, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, so what are you, uh, what are you doing here at Edge? What are you talking to customers about? What are you hearing? What's the buzz? So clients today are, uh, are investing in their data centers, but more importantly, what they're investing in is their business. So if you went to the main 10 session, one of the things you heard about is when we talk to CEOs and CIOs, the importance of IT to customer businesses. Because what customers are looking for is how do they run their businesses more efficiently and more effectively? How do they use IT to do that? Well, the fact of the matter is, it's not by putting out server RFPs, it's by running those applications better. And so what they're after from us is, guys, how do you make our IT more effective for us and for our business. And so we're spending a ton of time talking to people about, uh, about exactly that topic. You know, yeah, so okay, so that's, those are some of the factors that are driving IT decisions today. How is that affecting your strategy uh, at IBM? Well, the way it affects our strategy at IBM is, it, you know, you heard Tom Rosamilia talk about it. The money that we're spending on innovation is all around helping clients to get the most out of their IT spend. So, clients are looking for, how do they optimize big data? Well, flash technology plays a big role in that. Optimized systems play a big role in that. Customers are coming to us and they're saying, we know we have to adopt this or that application set. How do we do that? with the staff that we have on board today. Number one, our staff is overworked. Number two, our staff isn't expert yet in doing that. So if we can provide them with reference architectures, if we can provide them with systems like an SAP HANA offering that give them the capability to get up and running more quickly, then they can devote their IT staff to innovation for their company instead of keeping the lights on. I met with a client not too long ago and they said, you know what, 70% of our staff is, is eligible for retirement right now. Well, the fact of the matter is, when they look at that, what they see is, holy cats, how are we going to innovate if our IT staff is uh, ready to retire? So you said what? most customers aren't going to build a new data center, but the service providers have such a growth pattern that it's almost like they're building a new data center you know, every six months or a year. Uh, so <laughs> you know, how is that discussion going between the enterprise and, and the service providers and, and even the cloud solutions, and how, how do you uh, kind of go between those two? Well, the MSP market is very vibrant, and uh, what we're seeing is that clients are adopting MSPs, service providers, application as a service um, across their business, and it's interesting to see the adoption patterns. We recently had a customer advisory council, and I asked the, the clients, you know, what, what is your adoption of cloud service provider content and capability? And one guy said, uh, well, we're, we're not going to be going to a public cloud because uh, our industry is highly regulated and, and we can't do that. The next guy to talk says, because our industry is highly regulated, we're adopting a cloud service provider because they're experts in providing applications for our industries and staying compliant in our industry. And so what we're seeing is, there's a lot of firms that are aware of it and evaluating it. They're adopting it at a different pace because it, it's what's relevant to them and to their business. Okay, can, so can you talk a little bit about kind of that transition from kind of the blade system to the, the pure system, pure flex architecture? Mm -hmm. um, you know, recent industry numbers shows that blade server revenues are down in general. Uh, you know, so Blade Center's been a, a great workhorse for IBM for many years, but it looks like this is really IBM's bet on the next generation architecture. And how does that kind of fit to the kind of the cloud models that we were just talking about? Well, clients today are looking for more 
value than just great hardware. And so I'm here to tell you that uh, you know the the Flex system and Pure Flex uh, hardware offering is based on over 15 years of innovation and development in the Blade Server marketplace. It has the fastest backplane. It's got the most power and cooling. It's got the ability for the most memory and processors in the industry. It's unsurpassed in terms of technology. But that's not enough. Clients are looking for how quickly can I get up and running. How do I simplify the management and deployment in a cloud environment, in a virtualized environment, or in a specific application environment? And so, with Pure Systems, what we're offering to customers is a variety of offerings that give them the ability, um, and whether it's an application as a service or whether it's a, a platform as a service, giving them the capability um, to specify their operating environment and get up and going very quickly. Because if we can minimize the amount of time that skilled IT staff spend on the rudimentary tasks of up and running and deployment and management and maintenance and get them into innovation, customers get value and that's where we think they'll choose us. Yeah, absolutely. So Alex, um, we were talking before about you know, the labor component. Talk a little bit more about what customers want to spend their time on. We talked a little bit about how they're spending their time today. Uh, Talk a little bit more about that, because you said you know it, it burns one of your customers when they see a senior systems engineer changing it out a disk drive. Uh, how are they spending their time patching, whatever they're doing today, and how do they want to spend their time? Well, you're right. Uh, a lot of the time today is, is spent on what many customers will say, keeping the lights on. Where they want to spend their time is on innovation. The big tasks that IT managers have been given by their uh, executive management are enable mobility, enable clients to access uh, us and our business easier and, and, and more quickly, enable us to use big data, enable us to use technology to differentiate us in the marketplace. And so whether it's, um, whether it's oil and gas and, and doing exploration, whether it's an automobile manufacturer looking to shorten the cycle time to, to produce or manufacture an automobile, um, or whether it's a retailer looking for better information about their customers, they're all looking to use technology to innovate, use technology to give them a business advantage. They can't do that if they're spending the time uh, keeping the lights on in the data center. I, value. So I met with a customer in the financial industry the other day, and that customer told me that when they bring a new application forward, they actually monetize the, each of those applications and they say, this is a $5 million application, this is a $4 million application. And what they mean is, our company's going to make $5 million in profit once we get this thing out the door. You know what? That's a heck of a lot more job satisfaction than I kept the server farm running today. Well, and then you can quantify the value you're bringing to the organization if you can get it in, you know, a month earlier. Or it's, yeah. You know, it starts to get big. Exactly. Uh, excellent. All right, Alex. Well, listen. Thanks for stopping by the cube and uh, sharing your insights about what customers are doing. I uh, really appreciate your time and uh, good seeing you again. Great to see you guys. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with our next guest. We're live from Edge. This is the Cube, and we'll be right back after this word.